Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. This is week three grocery video of my new $23 grocery budget challenge series. The way that it works is I started pretty much from scratch. I had available to me some preserves that I made myself, honey that was a gift to me, salt, pepper, parsley, um, a multi spice, and that's about it. I started on week one with the $23 cash. I had a very meager, um, repetitive set of meals that week, purposefully to save money moving forward, uh, not to save money, to save food, to save supplies moving forward into week two. So last week, week two, I focused on getting some what I consider pantry staples. Uh, I was able to get flour. I got potatoes. I have some carrots. Um, I participated in a food rescue, so we have onions from that. Just some very basic grocery supplies that are usable in so many different ways and so many different meals um, to make life easier. Uh, you just get those right out of your pantry. So most people have that stuff. Starting from scratch, I didn't. So that was my focus last week. This week, I was really hoping to get some kind of a condiment. I have been, every single time I go into a store, I've been taking pictures to remind myself of what the prices are of the things that I'm thinking or considering. So I've, I've been considering ketchup. I've been considering mayo. I've been considering peanut butter, just some basic items that would be really nice if I could work those into a budget. Uh, so I'm going to share some of the pictures so that you can see, see the decision making process. I did get a condiment, just one this week, but one is better than what I had before. And actually something really, really exciting happened this week and I got an item. You're going to see it in the video. I cannot believe that I was able to get it in week three. It was an in-store markdown. Um, it was just, ooh, I'm excited about that. So check out what I was able to get. Uh, I'm really starting to accumulate a very, very substantial stockpile, even after just two weeks. Uh, but that stockpile is mostly frozen items. I am concentrating um, on attempting to get more ingredients to make things. Um, instead of meat, instead of veggies, I'm looking at some spices, perhaps some baking supplies. Um, definitely the condiments were a big thing. So I'm really looking to expand. Uh, I don't have the money in the budget to buy full pieces um, or full packages of what I need. So I'm concentrating on uh, getting those things um, from stores like a bulk barn, a bulk product um, store, and that's working for me now. As a recap, to start this week, I have no cash. I spent right down to the last penny last week, but I have a $1.11 fast fuel coupon that I've still got from week one, and I've got a $1.83 fast fuel coupon um, that I got last week. So those are available to me to spend, plus my $23 cash. I am at Sobeys. I don't have any plan for pepperoni, but when I saw that every package here, and like even in the back, you can see the stickers, the discount stickers. It's like every, every one has a sticker on it. 
I thought that I would take a look through and find the cheapest pack that I could because I didn't have a plan for pepperoni, but I can certainly make a plan for pepperoni. These options here at Sobeys are even 30 cents cheaper than Walmart. There's a couple different kinds I can choose from. Chipotle mayo, sriracha mayo, those both seem hot. Smokehouse bacon mayo, sounds good. Roasted garlic mayo and caramelized onion mayo. Uh, I'm gonna pick one of those last three, something perhaps that's neutral in case I wanted to mix it with like tuna, I have tuna salad or something like that. I am always looking to match up discounts with coupons or sales with coupons. So I see this, is it 49? So this one package of Armstrong Fiesta Mexican cheese slices would be $3.29. And if I use it in conjunction with this coupon, it will bring it down to under $2. And the interesting thing is the coupons are right on the shelf. So I am back. I'm at the country store, not at the bulk barn, but I'm going to get some real green lentils, not split peas. I'm going to need some of this. We got some baking powder and baking soda. I'm in the spices now. Definitely going to pick out a few of these. Lots of different options. Hmm, taco seasoning. So many different options. This is definitely a clever way to maximize a small budget. Once I have um, a, a few more staples and I have a little more flexibility, I'll be able to buy more of this stuff. This week I have spent $22.32. I spent a $1.83 fast fuel coupon. I got a coupon in store on the shelf that I was able to take advantage of. I took advantage of in-store markdowns and I actually was able to match the coupon up to an already discounted item. I shopped at Giant Tiger, the country store, Dollarama, Walmart, Superstore, Sobeys, and Avery's. Let's get started. I shopped at Giant Tiger. They had ground beef on sale in the flyer, a 0 0.650 kg package for $5.97. So this was just a flyer special. Uh, I am undecided of whether I am going to split this into two three quarter pound packages, or if I'm just going to split it three ways evenly and that would be just over a half a pound each i think or maybe just under a half a pound each i haven't decided i'm leaning towards splitting it into three i got some mushrooms marked down you can see here so for anybody that's in canada and has been hearing all the talk about loblaws eliminating their 50 percent off stickers and only using 30 percent these ones were still 50% off. Uh, I got them. They were marked down um, and they were $1.58. So I thought that was great. I got a really good buy at Sobeys. I was in there and you can see I froze this right away. This is a minute steak. It was $4.16 and it's marked down $2. So I got it for $2.16. The pepperoni. Uh, had a two dollar off sticker on it so 414 brought that down to two dollars and 14 cents and i got some marked down bananas the total of that shop was four dollars and 88 cents now the interesting thing is is when i went to get out of the fridge um, all of my items i pulled out the bananas and i thought what the heck where are all of my bananas then the handsome one confessed that he ate some of my bananas he he says he ate two then he changed his story to one and now he's unsure of how many he has eaten. I'm positive I had six bananas. I was really excited because they were only 58 cents. So we'll figure out if he's going to replace my bananas or 
or if he'll have to trade me something for those two bananas. I'm leaning towards trade. So anyways, once I got the pepperoni, I thought, oh, wouldn't that be, and I already had the mushrooms, wouldn't that be great if I could have nachos? And so I shopped at Walmart. They are the cheapest place around to get nacho chips. It's just their store branch, the great value, and they were $2.67. I popped into Avery's and just looking kind of for markdowns. I'm not sure if you can see what these are. These were in their reduced bin. It's two avocados and they were $1.19. I have all of those onions that I got last week and I was thinking that I should make some kind of a French onion soup. I've never made one before and I looked up the a couple different recipes and one of the items that I need is beef stock. So I got this beef bouillon, uh, $1.25 at Dollarama. This is a much better value then the one cube I got from the bulk barn for 32 cents in week one. However, the benefit of that was that I still had the difference between $1.25 and 32 cents for other ingredients in that very tight first week. And then this was a big score for me. I'm incredibly excited about this. I was hoping to be able to get a condiment this week and I kept flipping back and forth between ketchup and mayo and what would the best thing be and I kind of priced out mayo in every time I went in a store for the last couple of weeks I've been kind of pricing and taking pictures of ketchup mayo peanut butter things that I would like to have in my pantry but I just don't have them yet anyways I was kind of turning it around in my mind and I was thinking I can use one of my fast fuel coupons towards it. I had that, that I was settled in my mind. I was going into Sobeys. I was going to use the fast fuel coupon to get this roasted garlic. It was the cheapest small bottle that I could find. I feel like roasted garlic is a pretty neutral flavor if I wanted to mix it in with, you know, recipes and stuff like that and not use it just as a spread. And then there was this. This is the most exciting thing that I got this week. I could not believe my very, very, very good luck when I was at the shelf, saw the 50% off sticker, and I was still hemming and hawing. At 50% off, I was like, no, no. I just cannot commit $3.25 towards cheese this early in a challenge. I just need more items. That $3.25 could get me so much more stuff and then i looked over and i saw those coupons the the rip off coupons right on the shelf i was so excited i could barely i just i can't even i'm excited and i know these are slices but i can cut these up i can use them for whatever i want i'm just really incredibly excited so i want to choose my one dollar and 83 cent fast fuel coupon so you'll see here the spread was 329 the cheese was three 6.49 minus 50% off plus I had a vendor coupon then I want to choose my $1.83 fast fuel coupon and I left it at home in the little jar where I was saving my leftover money and my coupons so I went through my wallet I do have a lot of fast fuel coupons but I feel like in the spirit of this challenge I'm only allowing myself to use fast fuel coupons that I get during the challenge but I went through the ones that I had and I found two that totaled up to $1.82. So you can see here the 44 and the 138 brings my grand total down to $3.21. So I'm pretty happy with this haul. And then I went to the country store because there's some things that I want to make this week. And I just needed a little bit of ingredients to go with them. I thought I had green lentils before. Thank you very much to the viewer that... Um, suggested to me that I might indeed have split peas, which was what I had. I wanted to bulk up my chili by adding some lentils to the beef. So I'm going to make chili this week. That is on my plan. And I thoughtfully am supplementing ingredients that I already own uh, with just the one ingredient that I need for the recipe. So I got lentils. And then I have that squash. 
it is it was a frozen squash it lasted really great last week but i can see on it now there's a little teeny bit of discoloration so i was thinking i should process the squash and i love squash pancakes so i looked up the recipe for for squash pancakes what do i need i need baking soda baking powder and cinnamon and nutmeg the recipe is a really really large recipe and i actually think i have more than enough for a full recipe but i was thinking i should probably just make a half batch and then when i was in there i thought well i have those nacho chips now wouldn't it be nice just to have some taco seasoning on hand i don't have a particular plan for it this week but i'm going to add this into my pantry so another pantry item that i am stocking up on and of course another i'm i'm just buying that one ingredient that i'm going to need to make a recipe that i already have the other ingredients for so i feel pretty pleased with everything that i purchased this week i still have a little bit of money left um and i have a flat fast fuel coupon so if there's anything else that i need I have that little teeny, teeny weeny bit of wiggle room. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see the meals that I'm going to come up with with these. I spent $22.32 cash. That leaves 68 cents cash left. But since we don't do pennies anymore in Canada, that rounds up to 70 cents. And I also have the $1.11 fast fuel coupon. I'm pretty stoked about the groceries that I was able to get this week. Uh, I am really looking forward to some fun meals. And you'll notice that I am filling the gaps of ingredients. So one thing that I find is very helpful to stay frugal is I make meal plans from items that I already own and just fill in those ingredient gaps. So the baking powder, the baking soda, the nutmeg, the cinnamon. Um, those were some ingredient gaps that I had for making um, squash pancakes. And the lentils, that was an ingredient gap for the chili that I want to make. And of course, you don't need lentils to make chili, but I was just hoping to use a little less actual ground beef, bulk that up a little more with the lentils to have more chili to last me for more meals um, and to be less expensive. Anyways, thanks everybody. Let me know what you think of my groceries this week, how the prices compare to where you are located, um, and let me know your thoughts.